Welcome to weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. A new bill, yet again, proposes to ban Chinese drones at the federal level. Uh, DJI Matrice 3D leaks. And then lastly, Zipline is doing a new partnership with healthcare in Ohio. Let's get to it. All right, the first story this week is a bit concerning. Yet again, uh, we have a new bill that uh, would prohibit the federal government from purchasing Chinese drones. Again, to be clear, this is a reintroduction of a bill that failed in the past. Uh, Florida Senator Rick Scott introduced the American Safety Drone Act in the Senate, and now Representative Gallagher from Wisconsin is uh, trying to do the same in the House of Representatives. Uh, this is uh, a new bill, technically, that is set to be announced this week and would prohibit the federal government from using any tax dollars to purchase UAV equipment from China. Uh, the bill would require a federal report detailing the number of foreign commercial drones and covered unmanned aircraft procured by the federal departments. Uh, at the non-federal level, the bill would also bar local and state governments from purchasing Chinese drones using federal grants, something that we have seen uh, being implemented at state level for now. Only a few states in the country are doing this, and we're hoping that it's not going to spread anymore. Uh, both Scott in the past and Gallagher now are trying to actually attach this to the National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA, uh, which is the only likely way that it is to advance, since it's uh, very unlikely that it's going to move on its own. Uh, once again, we see a country of origin ban rather than having a set of comprehensive standards that any drones used for the federal government must conform to, uh, which is kind of mind-boggling to me. Not really if you think about the, the reasons behind all of this, the political reasons behind all this. Uh, the best way to fight this is uh, to go to the DAA website and find a link. We put it in the description. Uh, it's got instructions on reaching out to your representative and uh, if that's what you want to do, obviously, uh, opposing the National Defense Authorization Act. All right, next up this week is some DJI leaks for the Matrice 3D. Uh, we talked about this in the past, but uh, new pictures of the drone and then also new pictures of a rumored DJI Dock Mini. Uh, we covered this previously. The Matrice 3D appears to be uh, a Matrice 3 thermal, uh, simplified with fixed arms, top-mounted SDK port, and then also a built-in RTK. Uh, the new leaks about the Mini Dock appears to show that uh, it's got an angled channel that the Matrice 3D would fit into uh, in contrast with the flat landing pad that we've seen in the uh, traditional DJI dock. Uh, the Matrice 3D also appears to be slightly larger than the Mavic 3, which is probably why they call it a Matrice, uh, with uh, thicker arms and then also larger propellers. Pretty cool innovation, even though in the US we really haven't seen too many uh, places using those docks, I think primarily because of uh, the waivers that are required. So uh, I'm sure these are used in other countries. Actually, I know that these are used in other countries a little bit more than they are in the US. And then lastly, this week is an announcement from Zipline that has partnered with a number of healthcare providers in Ohio and in Michigan. Uh, Zipline announced in September that they had gotten an FA permission to operate beyond visual line of sight without using visual observers. And now it looks like that uh, they're going to be uh, ready to use that permission. Uh, partnerships include the Cleveland Clinic, the Michigan Medicine, Intermountain Healthcare, and Ohio Health. Uh, with the new partnership, Zipline aims to deliver prescription directly to homes by 2025. Uh, they're using the P2 system that cruises at 70 miles an hour at an altitude of 300 feet, and then it uses a small droid to drop packages in place uh, where the main aircraft can get into. Uh, it's pretty cool tech. I'm actually glad to see that uh, drone deliveries are actually uh, going into delivering medicine rather than, well, I talked about this I think last week and obviously several weeks in a row uh, when we talk about drone delivery, but uh, I think this is actually one of the good use of, uh, of, of drones for delivering stuff. All right, that's it. You have a great weekend. Uh, we will see you on the live on Monday on our airplane channel. We're doing an airplane Q&A and we'll be back for our live the following Monday on the drone channel. That's it. See you next week bill that uh, would prohibit the federal government from purchasing Chinese drones, again. No! No!